Your overview page provides an at-a-glance look at your poker performance. First, let's take a look at the rows. The top row shows your performance for the last 7 days. The next row shows the last 30 days. And there might be other rows below these, such as all time or a custom date range. To select a custom date range, click up here, select custom, and then enter a date range using the calendars. Now let's look at the columns. The first column shows the total number of hands you've played. So this would be the number of hands you've played in the last 7 days, the last 30 days, and all time. We're currently looking at hands played at a 9 player cash game. To view a different game type such as 6 max, select it up here. This next column shows the average number of dollars you're winning for every 100 hands you play. This box is green if you're winning money or red if you're losing. You'll notice a small arrow next to the dollar amount. This is the trend indicator. Our analyzer uses a complex formula to look at whether this number appears to be going higher or lower recently. It's always a good sign when you see this arrow pointing in the upward direction. The next column is similar, only it measures your winnings in big blinds instead of dollars. This is important because the number of big blinds you've won is a better indicator of your performance, since it's independent of the stakes at which you were playing. Finally, you can see your real poker IQ over here. The real poker IQ is a measure of your performance, where we attempt to eliminate the effect of luck. Just like an actual IQ score, the average value is 100, and the higher the value, the better. You can hover over your real poker IQ and click on this link if you want to learn more about how it's computed. In fact, just about anywhere in your reports you can hover over any item to get a better explanation of what you're looking at. Now, let's move down to these graphs below. If you've ever traded stocks, you'll be familiar with the look of these. The first one shows a graph of your cumulative profit in dollars over time. You can see it says here we're currently looking at your all-time profit. To change this, use the date range drop-down we discussed at the beginning of the video. This graph always starts at zero on the left, at the beginning of the date range. Every point on the graph is a day or week during which you played some hands, and on the right is the end of the date range. Of course, in this particular case, we're looking at all time, so the graph is actually showing your profit for every hand you've ever played on APT. You can use these graphs to see any trends in your game. Here's one example. Suppose you saw a big downswing in your graph during the month of November. You might want to select a custom date range up here to isolate November. Then, Proceed to some of the other pages of your report, such as the Performance Hand Chart page, and you could attempt to determine why you had such a bad month in November. The next graph also shows your cumulative profit, just like the first chart, but this time in big blinds. Below that, you'll find a bar chart that visually shows the number of hands you've played on each day or week, depending on which interval you've selected. The date is shown down at the bottom of the screen. Note that you can drag with your mouse and highlight to zoom in on one particular section of the graph. When you're finished with that, just press the Max button over here to zoom back out. That's about all for your overview page here at AdvancedPokerTraining.com.